Today's video was sponsored by Rizi Kiali, a true patriot and a Kenyan nationalist at heart. Former governor of Muranga, Mwangi Wairia, is a man in very hot soup. Just yesterday, the ESCC detectives were ready to arrest Mwangi Wairia in Mumias, where he was slated to attend a function with other Azimio leaders. So technically, here's what happened. There's a spot which had been allocated for the helicopters of the Azimio leaders to touch down. And the ESCC detectives knew about this particular location. So they stationed themselves there waiting for Mwangi Wairia to touch down. When the others were touching down, they didn't announce their presence. The moment Mwangi Wairia was about to touch down, he saw people in suits rushing towards his helicopter. So he just told the pilot, turn it around, let's go back to Nairobi. And that is how he evaded his arrest yesterday. As of now, I don't know if he's uh, handed himself over or if he's rushed to court to get anticipatory bail or whatever avenue they've chosen to use. I don't know that much as of now. We're hoping by one we'll have some of that information. But that is how he evaded police. And I know some will say, why did they not just wait for him in the area where they took off from in Nairobi? But the thing about helicopters, they can use any landing pad within the county. Maybe that is why they were not able to track him down or also it being a Sunday, some of the servicemen were not available to see if they can tie up loose ends and apprehend the former governor. But that is how Mwangi Wairia evaded his arrest yesterday by turning around the helicopter. Now, in this video, I want us to look into why Mwangi Wairia is being sought by the ESCC detectives. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, the first reason Mwangi Wairia is being sought by authorities is because the Director of Public Prosecutions decided to charge Wairia and seven other associates over irregularly awarding tenders worth 140 million shillings. The tenders in question were awarded to Top Image Media Consultancy Limited and Value View Limited, which is apparently contrary to the procurement laws that were in place in the financial year 2014 to 15 and 2015 to 16. And when you look at the charges, it goes to show that this is not a small case. This is right up the ballpark of a localized KEMSA scandal. I'm alluding this because the DPP has recommended that the eight be charged with a conspiracy to commit an offense of corruption in contravention of Section 48 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, abuse of office contrary to Section 46, as read with Section 48 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, and unlawful acquisition of public property against Section 45, Subarticle 1A, as read with Section 48 of the Anti-Corruption and Economics Crimes Act. And it doesn't even end there. I don't know what kind of mess this governor is. Other charges leveled against him and the other seven associates include conflict of interest, dealing with suspect property, and money laundering contrary to Section 3, as read with Section 16 of the Proceeds of Crime and Anti-Money Laundering Act Number 9 of 2009. This will not be an easy case to beat. By the time the DPP brings such charges, you best believe they have enough evidence. And it could very well be that Mwangi Wairia could be the second governor to serve prison time. The only governor I've ever seen inside a prison cell with a black and white, the zebra for people who are inmates, was Okoth Obadu. Could Mwangi Wairia be the next? Because these charges are astronomical. Money laundering amongst others. That is just crazy. I'm not too sure who the governor will choose to represent him in this case. It's likely going to be Dunstan Omari or maybe Cliff Ombetta, but he'd better get a very good legal team. This does not look like it's going to go away anytime soon. Now, the second reason why Mwangi Wairia is likely being sought. This guy had the option of working with DP Rigadi Gashagwa, but he chose to build a political career after 2022 of insulting DP Rigadi Gashagwa left, right, center. That was his mantra, I'm guessing. And the DP let it slide. But now that Raila is headed to the AUC, either he gets there or he doesn't. For the next one year, he's not going to be that much vested in Kenyan politics, especially partisan politics, because it will be used by his opponents to discredit him as they are seeking votes all across the continent. So Raila is no longer there to protect people like Mwangi Wairia, who actually shifted camp, thinking that Raila is going to protect them, and he cooled, but he's no longer there. That is why people like Mwangi Wairia are now beginning to suffer. They are suffering the consequences of Raila 
leaving Kenya to go and look for votes elsewhere and also a gag being placed on his mouth. Because let's be honest, Traila is not a small-time politician. When there was fracas with Jubilee, Sabina Chege, Kanini Kega, they were trying to overrun Jubilee party and make it theirs, basically a hostile takeover. Raila made their life hell. He stormed the Jubilee headquarters with everybody and Gaucho and all those Bungela Wanainchi cronies, and he made it difficult for them to do so. But if Raila was to keep quiet at that moment, Jubilee would have been gone. It would 100% have been gone, taken. And now in his absence, Mwangi Wiri is starting to pay for it. Will he be the only one to pay within the Azimio caucus during Raila's absence? Time will tell but that's just my opinion guys do let me know in the comment section below if you think the arrest of Mwangi or area is tied down to actual facts as the dpp claims or if it's just political malice and people are trying to settle a score with him in the absence of Raila and more so because he used to attack dp rigadi gashagwa in ways that is beyond what is acceptable and normal do let me know in the comment section below i'll do my best to read your comments and to give you a response now in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for David Ofula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.